What's up guys, today we are watching the season finale of The Last of Us. So, the last episode, you know, was quite a bit. What's it called? Ellie was trying to hunt for her and Joel while Joel was still recovering. And, you know, she met these two dudes. One of them ended up being the leader of this other group that's trying to survive. But then, you know, we later found out that he's a creep and a cannibal. And, you know, they took her... So the whole episode, she was trying to, well, not trying to, she fought her way out. And by the end of the episode, like, Joel was basically waiting for her because he fought his way out so he can get to her. You know, it was great. Not for her, well, actually not for both of them. But the thing is, they made it out and they're back together. So I'm ready to see, like, how this show or, like, the season is going to end because I don't know what could possibly happen, but I don't I don't know. So I guess let's just get into the episode. <laughs> I'm running in the woods while you're pregnant. Are you having contractions and about to give birth? Comes home to no one. So they all left her behind? And her water broke. I thought she was about to cut her stomach, but she's having that for defense. That is terrifying when you can barely move. And her knife is right- Okay, she got her knife. She did that while killing. Okay. She didn't even notice it. And she got bit. Okay. So, are we not going to get to know who this is? Still no name. Ellie. That's Ellie's mom. See, I kind of see the resemblance now. Okay. So her mom was bit, but cut the umbilical cord before it could, like, possibly get to her. Is that part of why she's, like, immune? I don't know. Oh, I was about to say, is that them, like, going back for her? Because it's like, you're kind of too late. But I guess this is now present time, so. Because that might be the place that Ellie's mom was in. I think. Or it's not present time. So isn't that the lady that had Ellie? Like, so then she knows Ellie in a way. So she knew her mom. I cut it before I was bit. Before. So she lied, but that's also because she can't exactly tell them the truth because they know, well, she knows they won't bring her. So you pick her up right now 
and then you kill me. Imagine having to kill your best friend and keep her baby. I wouldn't. I can't kill you. Please, no. please, 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 please. For some reason, I thought she was about to slit her own throat, but she gave her the knife, so she really can't, unless she got something else. Cover her ears. You didn't cover her ears, man. And I thought you weren't gonna kill her. But I guess it was bad enough that you had to hear her suffering. See, they did good with the casting because again, like I said earlier, I see a little bit of resemblance even though they aren't related in real life. Unless they are, I don't know. Well, I found this in there. Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. Oh, cool. Look at him having a different personality. Like, it's weird, but I'm going with it. Thinking. Maybe I should find one. I haven't played in forever. In fact, I was thinking maybe I could teach you. I bet you'd be great at it. <laughs> it's so weird with him being the one mostly talking when it's usually her and he's the quiet one. But she went through a traumatic thing last episode, so... Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Cut through that building to get around that stuff, find a skyscraper, go up and look around. Uh, actually, this time I was... Really? No, so we're gonna cut through that building, find a skyscraper, go up and look around. I had you going, didn't I? You okay? Yeah, fine. Just you kind of seem extra quiet today, so... Even he's noticing. One, two, up! Oh. You got it? Yeah. It's still so wild how he was just hurt the last episode and he doesn't even seem like sore or anything at all. Like. Whoa. God damn it, Ellie! Shh. You stay there! He would have seen it if you would have, like, got that down more, like, calmly and shit. So he didn't have to hustle to get it. A whole ass giraffe. How? I was about to say, how did you see it? But I mean, that bitch is tall. So she could have seen, like, part of the body. <laughs> if that giraffe is animated, it doesn't look so animated. There's more. Maybe there's nothing bad out there, but so far there's always been something bad out there. We're still here, though. I know. She got a point, you know. There's always a risk, Joel. Everything I've done. It can't be for nothing. I wouldn't say it would be for nothing, but... And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's, Sheep Ranch, 
the moon. I like how she's still talking about like how they're still gonna stick together. I was the guy who shot and missed. Is she finally gonna hear the story about what happened to his daughter? There's no story. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. So time heals all wounds, I guess. It wasn't Son time, did it? and none. Are you saying it was her? We should probably get going. Yeah. That was the best bonding moment ever. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, you idiot. Does a three out of ten. Seven. Turn around. I didn't think anyone would be there. And they're taking only Ellie. <laughs> Come on, man. We're halfway through this episode already and you're telling me now this shit's happening? We were just like in a good situation and of course it had to be ruined. Up into the fireflies. Easy. You got hit pretty hard. Patrol didn't know who you were. Didn't they just meet at the beginning of this series? So he should remember her. But why would they hurt her? I mean him. You are the one person I never wanted to be in debt to. But I owe you. We all owe you. Just take me to her. I can't. Why not? Surgery for what? He's gonna remove it from her, multiply the cells in a lab, produce those chemical messengers. And then we can give it to everyone. But it, but what if it's not a cure? What if that actually doesn't work? Like, it, it kind of makes sense, but there's also the possibility of Cortisol what if. grows inside the brain. You're telling me she's getting brain surgery? We didn't tell her, we didn't cause her any fear. There no. won't be any pain. No, you take me to her, you take me to her right now! Oh! Oh! I hope he pound your ass later for that. Mmm, I swear. It'll be like losing another daughter all over again if she dies. I have no other choice. I do. What are you gonna do, Joel? Don't fight your way out of there. There's a lot of people. Give him this. If he tries anything, shoot him. Why can't he just stay and just see her after? The fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. <laughs> And he's going after Ellie, so forget y'all. Fuck you. I don't have time for this. Wrong answer, bro. Should have just said something. He's surrendering. And you shot him. Okay. During that whole scene of him fighting, it's been violin, classical music shit. And I think that's fucking hilarious, but... Oh, 
Uh, I was going to say, Joel, think about this. What if she's like under? You don't want to kill them. You get in here. I said unhook her. I won't let you take her. <laughs> unhook her. It's like, it's like, what if they weren't done and you killed him? That's all he wanted. He wanted her and now he's gone. What if she don't wake up though? Well, actually she just got off of Anastasia, so... It just might be a while till she wakes up. If everything went good. Kill, she's gonna grow up, Joel. And then you'll die, or she'll leave. Then what? How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? What are you even like mad about, kinda? Y'all already got the cells, what more do you need? Even after what you've done, we can still find a way. Don't tell me he just left her. So I'm guessing he killed the other lady. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. Dozens of them. You're straight up lying to her, Joel. They've actually They've stopped looking for a cure. Well, shit. He's kind of being selfish, not gonna lie. But he's a hurt man. So she was still alive after that one shot. Please. Let me go. You've just come after her. He wasn't gonna let you live. I was about to say, where the hell are they going? Because he said home, but then I remember Tommy and them, so that's where they're going. We can manage that. Remember? Yeah. I just feel so off about this scene. I don't know why. I thought she was going to somehow, like, switch up and then shoot Joel. I don't know. Only different kids. How so? Well, she was a lot more. I want to say girly, and I'm not saying that you're not girly. I'm not. You see, it's so weird because now he is talking about his daughter all the time, and he used to not like the topic. Not much further now. Hey, wait. Um, what's about to happen? I wasn't on my own. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do and she says, we can just wait it out. She had to kill her. And then she did. And I had to. Her name was Riley. That's traumatic as fuck. But if you just keep going, you find something new to fight for. And maybe that's not I what swear you want. To me. He found something new to fight for. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. What are you going to say, Joel? I swear. Let's hope she doesn't find out. Or maybe I do hope she does, because it is kind of fucked up, but... 
Okay. So that's how this shit's gonna end. You kidding me? I swear. Everything started happening towards the, like, halfway through the episode. And then, bam, we get... You know, that's the most, like, peaceful ending we've gotten. They're, like, back home and everything. But, you know, I still feel bad that Joel is just lying to Ellie. Like I said earlier, I think he's being kind of selfish now that, like, he's opening up more with her. And he basically sees her as a daughter. And it's just so... It's like, I'm glad he's starting to feel better, but it's like, it's also hurting his relationship with Ellie because if she somehow finds out that he lied, like, they're gonna have a big argument and shit. I don't know. But I am, I just am glad that, like, their relationship is better because from the beginning to this ending, it started off with them basically hating each other and not even caring. And then now, he's all opened up about shit, joking with her, and everything. And I love that. Like, I'm happy that they're, like, sticking together now, you know? But they did lose a good bit of people on the way. But that happens in their kind of world. But it's like, I'm kind of wondering why Joel was saying that there's, like, a lot more like her. Because then, I f like, since she knows that, I feel like she's going to be more optimistic with people. Like, maybe whenever they get bit. I don't know. Like, I'm thinking about, like, what could happen if there's a season two. I don't know if there it was, like, renewed or anything. So we're going to have to see. But, like, it just makes me question still. Like, there's so many things. And, you know, we've never even seen anything about Ellie's mom or shit until this episode but you know I guess it was kind of necessary since it's like more of a backstory for Ellie since we already got like the backstory of her friendship with Riley but now we got the backstory of how her mom died she was bit and everything like and possibly why she's immune you know and it's like I still want that whole story like is that why she's immune because I feel like that would be the reason, but I don't know. But yeah, now that I've finished this show, I will be starting another one. I'm not which I'm not sure which one yet, but we're gonna see because I did post a poll. So I guess wait to see what that happens and check out the rest of my channel.